So our hysteroscopy simulator has all the equipment that we need for diagnostic and operative hysteroscopy. We have our in and outflow valves uh, with their respective inner and outer sheets. You have your working element for your uh, resection and then you also have your camera over here. Um, to get started, you basically bring the hysteroscope into the endocervical canal and introduce it. Okay, so once we're in, the screen is gonna prompt you to um, get started managing your fluids on your own. Once you're um, inside the canal, you can uh, visualize the uterine, uh, the intrauterine structures. In order to make sure that you're within the cavity, you should uh, be able to visualize the bilateral tubal ostia. Um, and this would be on the right, excuse me, on the patient's left. And this uh, would be on the patient's right hand side. So uh, you wanna visualize as much of the uterine cavity as you possibly can. So you can rotate your camera as you would do on a uh, real life hysteroscope. Um, so you could visualize the um, anterior wall of the uterus and the lateral walls as well. As you can see, it also simulates uh, the breeze uh, that could impair your visualization. So it gives you a more realistic uh, view and experience to the trainee. And then once you visualize the cavity, you can uh, actually take care of your uh, submucous fibroid with your working element and with the use of your uh, electrosurgical paddles. Um, and here we can see that we're behind the fibroid and we can use actually our loop. It even gives you uh, bleeding from a vascular fibroid so you could use your coagulation on your loop to take care of the bleeding. Okay, and then you can continue to perform your resection just the way you would normally do on a real patient in a real OR. So I think that this is a very valuable tool for residents to learn. It gives you the bubbles that you normally have when you do your uh, procedures, just like you normally see them. So I think it's a very realistic, right here, it looks like I hit a big vessel from the fibroid. So I could either use my fluid management, my outflow valve to flush the cavity a little better, find the bleeding area, cauterize it, so I can move on with the procedure with proper visualization and with complete safety. Right here, I'm almost to um, the broad base of the, of the fibroid and I can just continue to resect. For teaching purposes, the machine also allows you to um, simulate complications associated with hysteroscopy, such as uterine perforation, bleeding, electrical problems, fluid problems that you normally encounter on this type of uh, operation. So it's a very good, it's a very good simulator. So once you're satisfied with um, how much of your resection you've performed and with your uh, hemostasis, then you finish your uh, simulation uh, by clicking on this button. And then the machine is gonna grade you. It's gonna grade you on a bunch of different uh, factors. Here for the myomectomy, I got a 93%. For safety, I got an 100%. For economy, it took me a little longer, so I got a 55%. For visualization, I got an 100%. Uh, fluid handling, I got a 70%. It probably related to the fact that it took me a little longer. So overall, again, you can learn which factors you need to work on, if it's in safety, if it's an economy, if it's in fluid handling. Uh, the learner gets immediate feedback uh, with regards to um, how well they did and um, what areas are for improvement.